Well, today we're going to make some uh, beef and uh, noodles and an inch of foodie over here. And so I had a couple pieces of uh, this is a uh, porterhouse and a uh, ribeye here left over. And so you go and eat some beef and you go and eat some noodles. I'm going to use some mushroom gravy. I'm going to use some uh, cream mushroom soup. And we're going to have some beef broth. And we're going to have about half a cup of chopped onions. So let's get started. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is cut our meat up into bite size or, or smaller pieces here. So. And I've already put a lot of spices on this one. I cooked them on the grill. So it's not going to need a lot of spices. So. Anyway. This is going to be good. And when I when I cook them on the grill, now I always cook them about no more than medium, most of the time medium rare. So that way they can stand to be in the pot for a while longer without without uh, being overcooked or something. So, Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> turn on the power on this uh, Ninja Foodie here and then we'll hit uh, sear saute here and we'll leave it on high. Okay, now we'll hit start button and now we'll take and dump this beef in here and then we'll go ahead and dump this onions in that looks like a meal in itself right there Something I can turn this with just a little bit. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty nice right there. I'm gonna let this heat up just a little bit before I put in my beef broth here. I'm pretty good that beef and onion is. I wish you could smell it. That really smells delicious. So now we'll add this uh, uh, beef gravy here. This is a uh, 10 and a half ounce can of Campbell's beef gravy. And we'll add this uh, same size can of uh, cream of mushroom soup here. Okay, now I'm going to get these all mixed up together. Oh yeah, this is going to be so good. I almost forgot, I'm going to add a half a stick of uh, Land O'Lakes butter here. Oh, it looks good down in that hole. Now I'm going to add my beef broth here. I got three cups of beef broth. 
Okay, I'm all four in here. Yeah. Sat in here for about 15 minutes. Of course, I keep on stirring it around, but it's starting to simmer some now. So it's getting good and hot. I want it to come to a little bit better, a little more of a boil before I put the uh, noodles in. So it shouldn't be long though because this it's getting ready to jump up there now. Okay, that's my one up pretty good and I'm going to go ahead and add my noodles here. This is a uh, 12 ounce bag. I'm going to dump them all in there. Turn them around. Oh yeah, this is going to be good, folks. That's bubbling pretty good now. You might be able to hear it. Noodles are looking good. Add a little salt and pepper here. Stuff has been cooking here for about probably 20 or 25 minutes from start. And I'm getting ready to turn it off because we tasted it just a minute ago. And it's pretty, it's done. <laughs> so, so, I'm just going to take it off and get me a plate of it so you can see what it looks like and taste of it again. But now, total time for cooking this has only been for about, everything together has only been about 45 minutes. Now, I'll take it, I'll, I'll give you, I already had my onions chopped up, but that's including cutting up the uh, the uh, steaks and and everything else. So, now, if you got ready to make one and you're going to use fresh meat that might take you a little bit longer because you near need to sear your meat before you start it. But anyway, this is looking good right here now. I'm going to turn it off and start taking some out. <laughs> I'll get some out here, put it in this plate. I just told my wife a minute ago, I said I can see right now I'm going Eat way too much for dinner tonight. Well, that right there looks really good. <laughs> I'm going to try some up just in a minute. Just send it cools down just a little bit. And we'll give it a try. But I already have tasted the noodles a little bit and they sure are good. I'll be right back to let it cool some. It's delicious right here now. I want to thank all y'all for watching my video. I hope you come back and watch more of them because I hope to have another one for you real soon. So if you can, join my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And that stuff right there is so good. Hmm. So until next time, y'all have a real good day now and y'all come back and see me real soon. Goodbye.